Alexa, turn on studio lights. Finally here, the long-awaited Plum setup tour. Real one, not just like a webcam one on stream that was kind of like budget B movie blockbuster straight to DVD stupidness. But I kind of been promising this would be coming for a while and um, there it is. We're gonna get into it, um, go kind of like in depth of um, sort of in depth, I guess, of every component that I have, different things that I have uh, as far as peripherals and like Xbox and stuff. Um, so let's just jump into it. So this is where the magic happens and upstairs. But okay, so you walk right into it. We've just got some regular basic lights above and a Philips Hue LED smart strip behind the desk. That's probably what you first uh, noticed just based on the intro. And um, that's what I what catches my eye when I come in. Um, then we have this purple skull that I put some string lights on the inside. Now I've been looking for a purple skull for quite some time, um, but was not able to find one until Halloween this year, which is awesome because I wanted to use it for a headphone stand. So we finally got that. I'm really excited about that. Moving right along, we've got my PC. Now this case is like, I don't know, like five years old, I think. This is, I think, an NZXT Phantom 2. I don't know, it's been forever since I purchased it. I've made small upgrades to the case, or not to the case, rather, but to the PC uh, over the course of like five years or so, basically since I've gotten into PC gaming. It's nice because it's got a fan slot in the front, two fan slots in the front, actually. So inside, we have a um, half terabyte of hard drive storage, actual hard drive. We have one terabyte of SSD storage. And then we have another half terabyte of, a, of SSD storage that my um, operating system is on. Right here, this bad boy is my prized possession. It's the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Super Clock Black Edition. It is a monster. It is handling everything that I've thrown at it on ultra settings uh, at 21, uh, 25, 60 by 1440p resolution over 100 frames. And it's awesome. Um, that is just a Rosewell Photon 650 watt uh, power supply. Nothing super special here. Future plans are to get some um, custom sleeve cables or cable extensions. And that powers the ASRock Z370 Killer SLI AC motherboard right there in the back, which houses my Coffee Lake uh, 8600K i5 or Core i5 processor. It's overclocked to, I think I have it at 4.5 gigahertz right now. Right next to that, you'll see some uh, G Skill Trident RAM. That's 16 gigs of DDR4 at 3000 megahertz. Nothing, nothing super fancy there. Just basic RAM. I'm not big on super crazy RGB LEDs everywhere. And then cooling that, we have the Corsair uh, AIO. I forget which one exactly it is. I want to say it's the H100 or 110i. One of the two. I don't remember. I got that about a year ago as well. So we've got quite a few fans in here. There's two fans up top. Can't really see them through the mesh. One in the back, the blue one. Need to swap that out for an RGB fan so I can make it purple. And that'll probably be the only RGB fan in there. One fan on the bottom, two fans in the front. The airflow is pretty good. One of the things that I struggled with in this new setup was having um, hardwire ethernet in here. At the old house, that wasn't a problem because I built a wall and I was able to route everything the way I wanted it. So what I did was I actually found this thing called a power link and it plugs into your outlet um, at your router end and then it plugs into any outlet in the house and it uses your exi uh, existing electrical grid to transmit your internet signal. The box claims 
You shouldn't lose any speeds doing this, but you will. So I have a 100 megabits package down and 10 up. I didn't lose any up, but I've gone from 100 megabits to about 70 megabits down. So it's still plenty for playing games and stuff. It's not as fast as I would want it to be, um, but it gets the job done. Let's start over here in the corner again quick. My wife went to a craft show today and got this awesome little um, handmade, it's made out of tools. It's like pliers, um, a horseshoe, I don't know what the eye is, and then like a C-clamp, but it just says fire, it's cool, because I'm a fireman. This is my last name off of my old gear, uh, my old department. Coming over, we have a two monitor setup. Now my setup's a little bit different because of this wall. This little ledge here is about six inches wide, so that, was, that allowed me to do something different that a lot of people, I guess, can't do and have it look right. So I actually have my larger monitor on top in a dual monitor setup, which a lot of people have a larger monitor on bottom, most of the time with like an ultra wide and then a smaller monitor above. Um, so I have a 27 inch Dell monitor, uh, 27 inch, let's see, it's the Dell S27DG, I think it is. S2716DG, I think. It's 144 Hertz refresh rate, G-Sync enabled, gaming monitor by Dell, and I love it. It's the best, one of the best monitors that you can get for the dollar that they make, that anybody makes. And then above that, I have a 32 inch um, HP Omen display, and that is actually a FreeSync monitor, but I don't need FreeSync because of that bad boy right in there. So like I said, 32 inches above the 27 inches, and because of that wall, has got that lip there that allows me to put that monitor back, setting back farther. So when I sit down, it looks flush from the seated position and looks really sharp. Over in the corner, gotta have your little house plant that's fake with a salt lamp because salt lamps just help clean the air and put off good vibes. And I mean, who doesn't like a lamp made out of salt? It's pretty cool, right? I got my little turtle family because turtles are awesome, and I love sea life and water in general. I have cleverly hidden my Netgear gigab uh, gigabit switch with a little succulent, and then the boutonniere from my wedding. I actually wore this in my wedding right here, and my wife made it. So it's really special to me, and I like the fact that I can kind of hide the gigabit switch with it. It's not perfect, but... It works. Moving down to the rest of my peripherals, I suppose. For the mouse, I use the Logitech G502 Proteus Core Spectrum. Just like, I don't know, a ton of people out there. It's nothing super special. Um, I moved from a Razer Naga to this, and I needed something that I could still have a lot of keybinds on my thumb, because that's what I was used to. So this has got three keybinds for the thumb, um, two extra keybinds right next to the left click and then your other standard buttons. I think it's 11 buttons in total. I pair that with my Logitech G710 uh, keyboard. It's got MX Blue switches in it. Can't really see them, they're blue. My number one complaint about this keyboard is so petty, you might think that I'm absolutely ridiculous for it, and if you wanna judge me, that's fine. I don't care. But I will be playing a game and all of my backlighting will go out. Boink. It'll look like this for whatever reason. I don't know why it happens. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a Logitech driver issue. So I like it with WASD at max brightness and those at um, lowest brightness. So I have to like every now and every now and again, I have to change that in game. My microphone that enables you to hear this lovely podcaster, amazing voice is none other than the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, one of the most popular solutions for newer streamers, um, even some popular streamers use it. It's just a nice solution because it's probably the best USB condenser mic. Um, you don't have to have like a mix amp or anything super fantastic for it. You just put it on cardioid on the back and dial your gain just, just a little bit, about this much. Bring it back to this purple skull. Uh, on my wonderful headrest, or my headphone rest, are the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. I love these things. These are the best cans that I've ever had. I haven't had 
I haven't had that many cans, but these are the best ones that I've ever had. <laughs> so I don't know, I'll take it with a grain of salt, if you will. Um, but shout out to D Brand for this awesome custom skin that I put on here. It's purple on the outside, which has got this kind of like grainy leather feel to it. it the camera's not really picking it up very well. And then just a matte white ring with that same purple finish um, on the inside. Over in the corner, we got the Xbox One S. This is actually up for sale right now. I've been trying to sell it on Craigslist. This I don't play it a whole lot. So this next bit is one of my favorites because my wife for years has given me crap about how I hang on to boxes for PC parts. I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I held on to a lot of the ones that um, I guess mean a lot to me and are more of the expensive components, I guess if you will. So let me spin you around quick. So this is one of my favorite parts because these this is the wall that I finally get to display some of my favorite boxes on. Um, I don't know, everybody has stuff that they collect. I like these boxes. My favorite box being the Audio Technica box. I love the packaging, honestly. This just feels really smooth. And it just, it just feels like a good box. Anybody who's been around my stream for a long time knows that I'm a huge coffee freak and I drink coffee all the time and way too much and I shouldn't drink any more for probably the rest of my life. So I have the Coffee Lake Series Processor Box up there. Um, it doesn't say Coffee Lake on it, but just know that the 8th gen of the Core Series, the Core i Series, is Coffee Lake. So that's why I have it up there. Next to it, the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti SuperCloud Black Edition. Um, underneath that, we have the uh, Z370 Killer SLI motherboard box. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, again, really nice packaging. Down here, I have a an empty bottle of Pirate Rum. It's my favorite, favorite liquor. It's good stuff. And then Guinness, if anybody's ever seen me have a beer on stream, Guinness is the only beer I drink. They just came out with these collector bottles. I think it's pretty cool, so I stuffed one of those up there as well. And then arguably, probably the best part of the whole desk um, is these two pictures right here. So we've got, we have Baby Plum right there. And then we have the Plum family. So I love those pictures. What the actual desk itself is made out of. It's actually, it's kind of a spin on a really popular idea. Um, instead of going with the IKEA Carl B desktop, that's actually a countertop, um, this is a closet door that I picked up from a um, kind of like a secondhand home furnishing store. It was in really good condition, so I stripped the furnish or yeah, the finish finish off of it and put a kind of a dark walnut stain on it and lacquered it up. So it looks really sharp. I like it. I got the desktop, or sorry, yeah, the door slash desktop for 10 bucks. And the stain, I think, was like five. And the IKEA Carlby desktop is $270. So I'd say it was worth it. Underneath, holding it up on both sides, let me move my chair, are just IKEA Alex drawers. Had to go with them. There's really not any, good, or any other good option. Um, they're all kind of. You either pay for good quality or you pay for crappy quality, basically. So I chose to pay for better quality. You know, it's IKEA. It's not the best stuff in the world, but for light use, it's going to hold up really nice. So I went ahead and did a little bit of cable management under here. Uh, it's not the best job in the world. I will be hopefully getting a cable rack um, pretty soon for my birthday. Just to prove to everyone that I am a box whore. Here's another motherboard box. There's a graphics card box. There's a power supply box. Okay, that might be it. That might be it. In here. There's there's more other places. But that's going to do it, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the setup tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer it. Again, sorry I don't know the exact name of the PC case because it's old. And I kind of want to get a new one. But we will see. And I might be doing a cable management video, and I might be doing a building a separate streaming PC video that I'm going to mount on the backside of one of my IKEA drawers. It's going to be sweet. Until next time, take care, guys, and have a good day. Peace.